This is a $25 million Brentwood Mega Mansion with one of the coolest basketball courts we've ever seen. It's got a remarkable backyard with a huge tree, a massage room, and so many more things. And today we're gonna tour this entire Brentwood Mega Mansion for you all. But before we do, make sure to like and subscribe. Huge thank you to all of the realtors involved with this listing. And now let's get into it. and sunny Brentwood, Los Angeles, about to tour this newly constructed modern property here. This home is truly impressive. You see the curb appeal. Once you get past the gates, you've got the brick detail going all the way up to the top level. Vertical wooden panels show on the left side of the house. Impressive water feature, foliage across the space floor to ceiling glass looks into your floating staircase here you can see the chandelier from the outside this home is remarkable on the outside and of course on the inside before we go in there too i also wanted to mention that you actually have just this seamless access straight to your backyard also straight to your guest house your basketball court your putting green your water feature your seating sections I could go on and on about what this house has. It is impressive. Now, if we continue through, you've got your three car garage situated in front of me. Once you get past the private gates, you've got this sizable motor court, which can probably have like seven or eight cars out here. Also, this is the water feature that I was mentioning to you all earlier. You've also got the LED lights in there. You can make them blue, you can make them purple if you wish. It illuminates the exterior of the home, especially at nighttime. This home is also surrounded by tons of foliage, so you really have that true privacy when you're at this home. Now you can see you've got the two-story entry with the floor-to-ceiling glass and the custom wooden paneled front door, and now let's go in there. Coming through your wooden pivot door, we have just made it into the remarkable two-story entry. You were greeted with a floating staircase on my right and a very open concept layout. You've got the living space in front of me, bar area, wine cellar, formal dining room, additional access to the upper level and your kitchen, plus a living room, plus the backyard access. We've got a lot to tour today. Also, you've got the wrought iron railing detail around this section, beautiful chandelier, open atrium allows tons of natural lights into the property. You've got the French oak floors surrounding the space. And let's continue our tour through this space. We've got your bar section with seating for three, marble countertops, glass paneled upper cabinetry, paired well with the more natural toned lowers. You've got the marble fabricated sink displayed here on my left with more of the glass paneled shelving and cabinetry. You've got the glass enclosed wine cellar positioned behind me, complete with storage for all of your favorite bottles of wine here. Also complete with that beautiful marble back wall to match your countertops right here. I also really like the integrated LED light strips that they have right in front of me. And of course, you've got all of your cabinetry and your refrigeration, pretty cool. Now you've got a piano in front of me and on my right, we've got access to a formal seating area staged with contemporary furniture throughout. I also really like this space in particular because 
you get the seamless indoor outdoor flow. I feel the breeze literally as we're talking right now. You've got views to the guest house, the massive pool and all of your various seating areas and your massive tree, which is actually wrapped with LED light strips. It looks like Christmas time. It's coming close to that time of year, guys. We're gonna check out that backyard later, so you should stick around. But before we do, let's continue our tour through the open concept floor plan. You've got your formal dining table with seating for 10. You've got a beautiful glass light fixture above and positioned on either side of this formal dining room, you actually have floor to ceiling glass paneled cabinets, which can store more wine bottles, wine glasses, anything you need, maybe your fine china. It's also got those LED strip lights, which look remarkable. You've got kitchen access on my right, but we're actually gonna circle around and check that out in a bit. You've got views of your exterior water feature, your massive motor court. And if we continue our tour down here, you've got seamless access into a private office, which again has more contemporary furniture throughout, views of the motor court, beautiful light fixture, it's positioned above, and you've got your built-in book shelving over here with the cabinetry, and it's all soft closing, guys. You know that's my favorite feature. Also, baseboard details are lined throughout this space, as they also are throughout this entire hallway. Now, if we continue down, we've got additional upstairs access, living room access, and access to the kitchen, but before we see those spaces, here on my right, We've got a powder room, which features a beautiful floating vanity here, which is absolutely massive. It stretches across the entire powder room here. You've got the massive fabricated sink, mirror above with two hanging light fixtures, and this area also has more of those baseboard details. Now, if we continue through, I also wanted to highlight this hallway briefly. It looks like some sort of art gallery. You also have the ambient lighting positioned up above to stage all your art pieces. It looks remarkable. And if we continue down, this is that secondary staircase that I was mentioning to you all, which takes us up to the top level where we have all of the remaining bedrooms. And on my left, we've got living room and kitchen access, also access to that movie theater. But we're gonna wait. We're gonna tour these spaces in just a bit. Before we do, follow me down this super secret hallway. You've got the elevator on my right, paired with beautiful light fixtures extending down this entire hallway. More baseboard details are found throughout. And here we've got your garage access, space for up to three cars with the unique detailing on the floors. And if we move down through, we've got a mudroom section with a built-in bench, and it's also wrapped with tons of cabinetry. And if we continue down through here, you can actually see views of your basketball court. You've also got a massage room on my left too. Before we see that, you've got the guest bedroom, the first one shown in the property. You've got all of your closet storage here on my left with the nice dark natural wooden tone and it's all soft closing guys. And then you've also got an ensuite bathroom with the floating vanity and the beautiful tiled shower space. And if we head back into this hallway, you've got some closet storage, another guest bedroom here on my right, more closet storage in that same natural wooden tone that we saw in the last one. You've also got your built-in desk with more cabinetry, and then you've got the ensuite bathroom with the floating vanity, and you've got the glass enclosed shower, and those marble details are featured throughout the entire bathroom. Now, if we continue down this hallway here, my favorite part of the home, this is your massage slash gym room here. You've got the mirrors positioned on this far side of the wall, overlooking your private basketball court, which is surrounded by all of the foliage here in Brentwood. You've also got your putting green and then the beautiful backyard, which we're going to, of course, check out just after this here. You've got the massage table, you've got the stationary bikes, you've got the staged bench, all of your custom cabinetry here with 
the built-in refrigeration for all those cold water bottles you'll be drinking when you're having a hard workout in here. You've got the ambient lighting under the floating shelves. And if we take a turn down through this space, you've got some staged yoga mats, yoga ball right here. And what gym is complete without a glass enclosed sauna, guys? I mean, seriously, wrapped with all of the wood. It smells amazing. This is so essential to have after any hard workout. You can literally hit the sauna, then go outside to your private pool, or you could take a shower right here in your conveniently placed full-size shower. It's wrapped again with impressive marble details all throughout, even up on the ceiling, I mean seriously. You've got the built-in bench seating, you've got the marble penny tiles, fabricated shelving, two rain heads and a body spray. Also, it's a steam shower as well. Literally, the space checks all the boxes. Now you've got the water closet here on my right, and you've also, of course, got the built-in vanity with the fabricated sink, marble details, and some glass paneled cabinetry literally going up to the ceiling. This is a massive cabinet, I mean seriously. And it's gotta be soft closing too. Now. That's all for this entire gym area. This is a really cool space. Now, if you follow me down the hall right here, let's take a left-hand turn down the hallway. We've got the massive living room. Take me for reference and just look at how far down the space goes. It's remarkable. You've got contemporary staging throughout, beautiful views of the backyard and your kitchen. We're actually gonna highlight this space in detail in just a bit, but before we do, I wanna show you guys one of my other most favorite parts of the home. This is your movie theater. It is huge. You've got three tiered seating in this space. It's all nicely carpeted and you have the plush walls too. So it absorbs that sound. My mic probably sounds a lot more clear than usual. That's because you get that immersive sound when you watch a movie on the big screen here. You can probably sit like 15 of your friends and family in the section. You've got those integrated ceiling speakers, projector on my left. Also, you've got some built-in refrigeration to have all your snacks, all your favorite drinks, sodas, beverages, whatever. And then you got some additional cabinetry. We're also gonna be seeing more of this styled cabinetry in the kitchen in just a bit. You've even got a couple steps up here too. So if you sit in the very back, this is where you're getting the best view of the screen. This is just so cool. Also, wall sconces are lined throughout the space. Now let's take a left-hand turn. Let's go ahead and head back into that living space, which we touched on just a little bit earlier. You've got all of the contemporary staging. You've got the floor to ceiling glass, which looks out to the backyard. You've got your flat screen TV, coffee tables here. It's such a great space to relax. Maybe have a drink with a couple of your friends when you're entertaining. You got views to the kitchen, to the other formal dining table, and of course the backyard. You can entertain hundreds of people at this home, I promise. You've got the wood detail shown here on the back wall, glass enclosed fireplace, complemented with more marble right below that, and you've got views of your putting green, and right behind that is your basketball court. And we're gonna see that more in detail in just a bit too, don't forget. Now, let's continue through. You've got access into the kitchen, very seamless access, I may add. You've got two kitchen islands in the space. The first one has seating for up to four guests, and it's also book matched here in the center, if you look at that. You've got two glass light fixtures positioned above, Natural toned custom cabinetry can also be seen here on both islands here, and they're very seamless looking. There are no handles present on any of these cabinets. You just open them here like so. You've got the dark wood interior, and of course they're all soft closing. You know that's my favorite feature. You've got the fabricated sink positioned here on my right, which is a part of your second kitchen island. You got two more light fixtures above this one, You've also got your six burner stove top designed by Wolf with the double oven setup situated right below that. You've got some glass paneled uppers right here as well, going literally up to the ceiling, which is crazy. And yes, they're soft closing. You've got the ambient lighting strips inside of there as well. 
marble backsplash matches the countertops well. You've got your integrated hood right above this section as well, wrapped with those natural wooden tones like the ones that we do see down below here. And you have actually double the amount of storage. Pretty awesome. Now behind me, you've got another formal dining room section which has seating for up to six. Beautiful light fixture is positioned above this table. And this feels like some sort of glass atrium because you're surrounded by the floor to ceiling glass. You're overlooking your entire backyard, your LED lit tree, your pool space, your guest house, the water feature, the seating sections. That is truly a remarkable backyard. And of course, we're gonna see it actually just after we finish up our tour down here. Now follow me down through this section here. I also wanted to mention that you have more of these glass paneled uppers with the ambient lighting details, of course, more marble countertops and backsplash. You've got your Miele appliance suite with your espresso machine. Next to that, you've got your microwave, which has a popcorn button, guys. And I also really wanted to show you this pullout cabinetry. So you don't just open one of these drawers. You've got two drawers. You've got three drawers. I mean, seriously, triple the amount of space anytime you open one of these things and you've still got that seamless look with no handles present. I love that. Now, push to open, fridge freezer, all designed by Mila. Let's open it again. Just take a look at this thing. It's also nicely paneled with this darker wooden tone to match the rest of the cabinetry. You've got that contemporary interior. You've got the stainless steel interior in here as well. Literally checks all the boxes. It looks impressive. Also, if you thought that was enough kitchen, it's just not. You've got even more kitchen right here. This is a bit of an extension. You've got some additional custom cabinetry spaces. Of course, it's all soft closing. You've got the pullout sections. You've got the upper glass paneled cabinetry with the LED strips. And if we take a turn on my right, it's just a completely different kitchen right here. It's crazy the amount of appliances you have in this home. You've got six more burners here on my right, designed by Wolf with a single oven situated below. More marble details wrap the counters and the backsplash. They also wrap this upper hood design with the natural wooden tone cabinetry shown on the uppers and more of a darker tone shown on the lowers. You've got another fridge and freezer, guys, all designed by Miele. I mean, seriously, and it's also paneled as well. I mean, this place just has it all. It's pretty insane. If we continue through, you've got some additional shelving and you've got all of your pull-out cabinetry. And you don't, again, just open one. You've got two for every one big door. I mean, it's seriously stunning. Now, believe it or not, that wraps our tour for this main level. So now we're gonna head outside. We're gonna check out the pool, the basketball courts, and the guest house. Then we'll go upstairs. Let's do it. just made it out to the spectacular backyard. And if you look closely, I actually took the way from your pedestrian gate without even entering through the main house. But of course, you have many reference points from the main house out to the space from all of those sliding glass doors. You can see that you were just greeted with such a vast space here. It's surrounded by all of this foliage right here. And let's take a second to talk about the magnitude of this tree right here. So guys, you know how tall I am. I'm six foot three for reference. And this thing is miles higher than me. This is insane. You can also see that it's wrapped with all of these LED strip lights, which go all the way to the top of the tree. It kind of looks like we're in the spirit of Christmas. It almost is that time of year, but this is such a cool statement piece for your backyard right here. You can see that it also is surrounded by this built-in wooden bench seating, which can easily sit like 30 people, maybe even more. Now on my left right here, you've got your pool section and you will notice it is covered and that's because today it's pretty windy. So we don't wanna have all of these leaves getting into the water. So we have it covered. 
but you can see that it's surrounded by all of these seating areas, all of the turfed sections across the space as well. You can also see that you have this private pool house, which has the vaulted ceilings, wooden panel details, seating section. You've got a glass enclosed fireplace with more of the brick designs. And you also, of course, get views of the big tree, the modern architecture, and you've got three staged pool chairs. So on a hot day, you can sit right there, relax and tan. If we come back through, we've got some additional seating sections here, spot to have an outdoor meal, and you can sit like 10 people right there too, which is really crazy. You also get views into your glass atrium where you can enjoy again a meal next to your kitchen. And we gotta talk about this. This backyard just has so many things, guys. Bear with me, there's a lot to see. This is an impressive water feature surrounded by more foliage above and on either side. And we are here today in Brentwood, Los Angeles. It's a very quiet and private community. And you can just see again up here how much foliage you have. It is truly impressive. It surrounds the entire backyard. It's such a peaceful and tranquil view out here. Now, you've got all the seating sections here, but you've got even more. You've got so many spots to entertain your guests. This is your outdoor kitchen, which has seating for up to six of your guests here at this massive countertop. You also, of course, have a stainless steel barbecue, the grill station, the refrigeration down below, sink next to that, and of course, your good old pizza oven. Don't go to Pyology, guys. Just come to this house and they'll make you something way better. It's remarkable. Now, of course, views of the contemporary architecture, like I mentioned, and I just wanna keep reiterating this point on how massive this backyard is. We are on a very large lot here in Brentwood, Los Angeles, and I could probably get lost out here. It is seriously stunning. It's turfed all throughout. It looks so artistic and remarkable. And if we continue down this way, if you thought that was all for the backyard, you're wrong. We've got more to see. This is your putting green. It is huge. What is this, uh, eight holes in here? Pretty crazy. And it actually leads over into something even more stunning. And that's gonna be your Michael Jordan branded basketball court. It's got the blue details all throughout here. It's a very massive half court here. You also have your three point line. So it's definitely better than no basketball courts. Also look at the size of the retaining walls over here, the massive foliage. If you look up there, it seriously looks like we're in some sort of private forest. It's something that we really have never seen before. It is crazy. I would love to just shoot some hoops out here, hit my massage room, take a sauna break, maybe go back out to the pool. Whatever you wanna do, you can do it at this home. Now you've also got a side gate, which takes you back to the front right here. And that pretty much concludes our tour for this backyard, but you forgot something very important. We have to check out the guest house, then the top level of the main house. So let's go ahead and do it. just made it into the guest house. Upon entering, you're greeted with a seating section, which overlooks your backyard and that amazing tree that we saw just earlier. You've also got a fabricated sink with more marble details here. You've got yourself your trash area. Next to that, just some additional pull-out shelving. And you've also got yourself a little built-in refrigeration section. You don't have a massive one, just a small one, but it's pretty much all you need. You've also got some upper glass paneled cabinetry here and two bedrooms on either side of me. This one on the left looks out to some of the foliage and the one here on my right looks out to more foliage, but it's actually facing your front gate entry. Now let's continue through. You also have yourself your stackable washer dryer. It's completely in unit. It's like we're touring a little apartment building. It's pretty cool. Also, you've got an ensuite bathroom, of course, with the fabricated sink, floating vanity, and you've also got a glass enclosed shower, which has marble tile details, which go up to the ceiling, and you've got that fabricated shelving inside of there. Now, that is it for the backyard and for the guest house. So now, 
we gotta go back inside to the main home, check out the top level, so let's do it. just made it up to the top level of the home right here. From this vantage point, you get views of the front entry, the glass atrium, the chandeliers upon entering, and all of the Brentwood foliage there in the distance. I came up the floating staircase, but you could also come up from that other staircase, which we saw earlier, which is right off of the main living room. Once you come up the floating staircase, it takes you to this landing, which has a contemporary staged seating area, which overlooks your backyard, your impressive LED lit tree, the pool, the guest house, all of the foliage. I mean, you get these beautiful views from almost every part of the house. Now you've also got some built-in shelving spaces here, which is illuminated with these LED ambient light strips. Also, it's got that natural wooden tone that we've been seeing throughout the rest of the home here. Let's continue down this main hallway. You can see that you've got these sliding doors which pocket completely into the wall. So when you're walking down your upper level hallway, it kind of feels like you're outside sometimes. Let's head out here briefly. You got some staged seating sections out here overlooking the backyard. The space is railed with glass. You've got the foliage views once again two pool chairs in case you want to tan on a hot day in summertime. And you've got another little coffee lounge section with the exposed brick detail complementing that. You've also got views of some of the vertical wooden panel details that we saw on the front of the home. So you can see they just carry them all the way to the back. You get views of your open atrium dining section, the pool, the impressive tree. I mean, seriously, it is stunning. Now, you can see that you were just seamlessly led back inside to the pool table. This is a great entertainment section. You've got a contemporary staged seating area here as well, complemented with views of the exterior. Now let's move down through here on my right. Let's just jump right into it. This pivot door leads you into the primary bedroom suite. Contemporary furniture is shown all throughout. Marble detail again extends up to the ceiling, which is book matched here in the center, extending to four different pieces of marble. You've got the glass enclosed fireplace. More custom shelving goes nearly up to this vaulted ceiling here. You've also got the integrated ambient lighting. On my left, some additional storage. And if we continue down, you've got these glass doors, which further take you out to a private seating section which is railed off with glass panels, more views of the backyard, the foliage, the pool, the tree. I could just talk about that backyard like forever, but we're not gonna do that. We're gonna talk about the light fixture in the center of the room. Again, the ceilings are vaulted and you have two more light fixtures shown on either side of this bed right here. It looks incredible. It's actually a very massive bed, but it looks normal because of how huge the room is. It's pretty crazy. Now, let's continue through. I mean, just take a look at the scale of this space right here. This is the primary bathroom. You've got your double vanity in front of me, two fabricated sinks. Actually, you have a third vanity in the center, which is more of a preparation kind of makeup space, three mounted mirrors, three light fixtures. Also, you got the upper cabinetry here. It's all glass paneled, like I mentioned, with the LED strip lighting. You also have some seating sections in your bathroom. Talk about pretty insane. We don't really see spaces to relax in your bathroom, but this bathroom is so spacious, you might as well take a seat and relax on a early morning before you have your coffee. You've got your freestanding tub on the left. You've got the views of the backyard, the foliage. We've talked about it hundred times, but it's right there and it looks incredible. Now here on my right, you've got your glass enclosed shower. Let's talk about this for a little bit because it's massive. We've got a lot of things to talk about here. First of all, you've got three mounted rain heads, two body sprays, 
spot to sit down and relax you know before that meeting early in the morning the space is wrapped with marble details that literally extend up to the ceiling here and i don't think we've seen this before but you actually have integrated leds inside of your shower behind this stone detail and it illuminates your shower you get this very unique experience in here that you just won't get in any other shower probably in all of LA. We've toured like over a hundred homes out here. I've never seen that before. That's really crazy. And you can also go inside the shower or outside of course from two different doors and however many people you want in there, it's probably possible. It's pretty insane. You've got water closet number one on my right and number two here on my left hand side. Also, you've got this door, which further takes you out to a private balcony, which overlooks your basketball court. The private foliage feels very quiet. I kind of have to whisper out here, it's so quiet. You get the nice breeze, it is remarkable. Now, that's not all for this primary. We still have more, can you believe it? So let's continue down, marble floors throughout. Instead of going back into the bedroom, we're gonna instead go into the closet and it is just massive. This is actually the first time I'm seeing it and it is huge. Take me for reference, please. You can run the mile around this thing. It is crazy. Two built-in islands. You've got the glass paneled tops on the islands as well. Two light fixtures are suspended above each one. You've also got this floor to ceiling glass paneled cabinetry with more of this espresso toned wood, which is shown throughout this entire space right here. Another seating section in your closet because you might wanna find your favorite shirt, but it takes you a while because you've got all of this cabinetry. Might need to sit down and take a break before you head to work. This space is crazy. It's like one of those designer stores you see on Rodeo Drive. I mean, I just can barely put this into words. It is remarkable. Also, you've got this ceiling cutout with these LED strip lights, which is really cool. So it illuminates the space even more. And if we take a turn here to my left, you can see just the scale of this cabinetry and the shelving. Again, take me for reference, guys. You probably know how tall I am. But for those of you who don't know, I'm six foot three, and these go almost like a foot taller than my height. You've got the LED strip lights again here as well. This is one of my most favorite closets we've probably ever seen. It's just so grand. Now, let's head outside of the space. This is not all for the top level. We still have a couple more spaces to show you. Now let's continue down from that pivot door. You've got some additional cabinetry displayed here on my right. And if we take another turn to my right, this is the next guest bedroom for the property. You've got horizontal wooden panels shown on the back wall. In front of me, you've got a walk-in closet with tons of built-ins, and you've also got yourself an ensuite bathroom complete with the floating vanity. And you also have the glass enclosed shower, which doubles as a bathtub. And you also have the marble details, which go up to the ceiling and they actually wrap around this entire bathroom too, which is pretty cool. And you also get views of your exterior, which I really, really like. Now, you got more of those baseboard details across this hallway as well, kind of like the hallway that's located just right below us. More spaces to have your art gallery. And this is actually the secondary staircase that we talked about a little bit earlier, which leads you back down to your living room, your kitchen, and further out to your basketball court. Also, elevator on my right. And if we continue down this section, we got another guest bedroom with vaulted ceilings here, walk-in closet, and of course an ensuite bathroom with the floating vanity and the glass enclosed shower. And you've also got yourself one of these sliders, which takes you out to an oversized balcony right here, where you got the foliage in the distance. You've got your basketball court right below me, which is Michael Jordan branded. I really like this space. Again, I feel like I have to whisper because it's so quiet, but that's just how private your neighborhood is here in Brentwood. 
Now let's move back inside. Also, I really like the wooden panel detail that they have on this back side of the wall. It's kind of diagonal and horizontal. Looks pretty cool. If we continue through, you've got your laundry room, which has space for four appliances, upper and lower cabinetry throughout. You've also got a built-in sink with foliage views. And let's make sure, yes indeed, they're all soft closing, which we must have. Now let's continue down. This is the final guest bedroom for the home here. Vertical wooden panels with the vaulted ceilings. You've also got another private balcony, which looks out to the front yard. And you also get views of the brick detail, views to the guest house right here, which is crazy. Like you look through your hallway and you've also got the foliage surrounding. It's very private out here. You've also got yourself a walk-in closet with tons of built-in cabinetry. And if we take a turn down through here, this is the last ensuite bathroom that we will be seeing, which has a floating vanity, marble tiles throughout, and they also carry into that glass enclosed walk-in shower space. Now, that's all for the tour. Thank you so much for watching. Huge thank you to all of the listing agents involved with this listing, and you can find their info down in the description. Also, like, subscribe, and comment down below, and I will see you in the next one.